Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Apple's new operating system for its mobile devices, iOS 5. In this episode, we're going to take a look at reminders. Now, there have been ways to give yourself reminders on iOS before now. For example, you could set an alert for yourself to do something at a specific time and date in the calendar application. But that pollutes your calendar application with a whole pile of trivial things like clean the cat box instead of leaving it dedicated for things that you need to do for work. Of course, there have been other applications that you could download to manage all the resources. But now with iOS 5, this is actually built into the operating system with the Reminders application. Now, if you're used to using the calendar application to remind yourself to do things, this now effectively splits up the places that you have to be from the things that you need to do. To open up Reminders, of course, just tap on it on the home screen. Tap on the screen to start entering a new reminder. As you do, it creates a checklist of the items that you need to accomplish. Now you can just leave the items in the list with no specific alerts to leave it as a checklist of things that you need to accomplish whenever you get to them. But you can actually set alerts as well if you need to do things at specific times. Tap on the item in your reminders list and it'll open up a new screen with a few parameters that you can set. The nice thing about reminders is that not only does it allow you to set up an alert based on a specific time and date, it also allows you to set up an alert based on your location. So for example, we can set up an alert that says call Andy at 2 p.m. and set that up for tomorrow. That might not work so well though if you need to do something but don't know when you're going to be free to do it. For example, if you know that you need to get milk on the way home but don't know when you're going to be leaving the office because you just have so much work or a bunch of meetings, you can set up a location-based reminder. Now when you say that you want to set up a location-based reminder, it finds your current location using the device's GPS. You do also have the ability to choose a location based on other addresses in your address book. You then have the choice of getting the alert when you leave a location or when you arrive at the location. So in this case, we're going to set a reminder to pick up the milk when we leave this location, which means we're already on the way home. Or we can remind ourselves, for example, to clean up the cat box when we arrive at home, because otherwise we're probably not going to do it because it's not a lot of fun. Reminders will appear as alerts on your screen, and they'll also appear in the notification center. Now, if you're setting up a reminder that's location-based, it'll make use of the GPS inside your device. So if you have a reminder that's sitting on your device for any length of time with a location-based part to it, it will actually be sitting there pulling the GPS on a really regular basis, which will actually claw back your battery life. If you're running short on your battery life, you may actually want to turn these location-based reminders off and change them into time-based reminders instead. Don't forget to check out other parts in this series where we'll show you other ways of interacting with iOS 5. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.